Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Saucy McLittlefist, and today we are playing Tiny Rails. In the last one, we went through the tutorial and learned how to play the game, but full disclosure, it's been a long time. It's been several months, maybe even longer, maybe like six months, I don't know, since I played this game last. So it's gonna be a little bit of a journey. We currently just traveled from Montpelier, Vermont to Albany, New York. Welcome to Albany. Depart. Wait, what? So I guess we're leaving again. From Albany to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, so yeah, we... Uh, no, I don't want to capture the moment. We're currently traveling 66 kilometers per hour. We have 340 kilometers to go. It's May 12th of year one. We have 125 gold coins and five diamonds. Oh, wait, what's this? 200, okay, we just got 250 gold. Nice. I should have watched the ad. Maybe we could watch ads together in this video. No, um, so yeah, we are playing Tiny Rails. Uh, let's see. Okay, we just collected 500 more gold. Can we click on the cars to do anything? No. Clicking on the cars doesn't do anything. Um, what does this do? We have an accountant. We have Lance the accountant. Uh, reach level one to unlock passive service. Um, okay. We have Sophia the Mechanic, reach level 1 to unlock passive service. We have Hank the Track Inspector, and reach level 1 to unlock passive service. Alright. Um, I'm really not sure what I should be doing. What's this? Grow your railroad empire with great deal, available for a limited time. Ace 3000 care package. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to spend 1099. Um, we're currently halfway through our journey from Albany, New York to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We're almost halfway. Well, yeah, we're almost halfway. Um, I hope you all are enjoying the ride. All aboard. Toot toot. Yeah. So I don't really know. Like I said, it's been a while. I just thought I'd pick up. It's been a while since I've uploaded to my channel. So I thought I would pick up a game that's just easy to play. And something that I could easily talk over. Like, you know, I've been playing other games on my channel. Like Hollow Knight. And like, I just noticed that there's a lot of dead air in those videos because I'm like simultaneously playing the game, trying to figure out what to do in the game, and I'm supposed to be talking and being entertaining and be entertaining at the same time, which is really difficult to do. So there's just long periods of me just not talking at all. So if you enjoy my dulcet tones and you want to hear me just talk and relax and have a good time, Tiny Rails is the uh, game to do it. Um, let's see what these other buttons do. Buy to start receiving additional bonuses from this station. Okay. Cargo available. Two balloons, one strawberry, one onion, one pizza, uh, one pile of takeout food, or bronze bricks and silver bricks, one toilet paper, and one, looks like a, a duck key, like a key with a duck on the end of it, I don't know.
And I know what the camera button does. What does this button do? Got in the gumball machine. Down in the gumball machine. Alright. Um, we are almost to Harrisburg. I have 725 gold coins. I just spent 500, so I'm not sure how I already have 725, but I guess that's that. Old West food car. Old West engine. An Old West caboose. So these are our three train compartments, I am assuming. There's really not much we can do with them. So, recently... Wait, hold on, before I get into that story, let's uh, drive here up into Harrisburg. We have arrived, ladies and gentlemen. We have arrived. Welcome to Harrisburg. Your first VIP passenger. The pay bonus, the pay bonus, they pay bonus gold. Adding additional cars to your train increases your chances to have VIPs aboard your train. Nice. Okay. So we have two hundred. Let's go to the market. Um. Okay, this is steel and wood. Okay, that's what that that's what that stuff was. Oh, and that duck key is a metal detector. Okay. Um Let's buy the salmon. Let's buy a balloon. Or buy two balloons. Let's buy an onion. Let's buy some toilet paper. Let's buy the pizza. We have steel. Let's buy a strawberry. And we have wood. Okay. Um, let's see here. We just rolled Old West Passenger Car. Choir level 2 to gain 35 XP. And we get another free roll in four hours. What just happened? Congratulations, your player level has increased. Collecting new cars and upgrading your existing ones will help you level up. With new levels, you'll earn rewards like gold gems, free gumball rolls, and speed boosts, and even new areas and cars. Okay. All right, we just added another passenger car. So now our train is four train things long. Four train. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the official name for it. Four train things. Uh, four cars. We're four cars long. All right, and let's depart. All aboard. Let's center our train. So yeah, speaking of cars, so a couple of years ago, I bought a uh, a 97. Oops, four. 
no, I don't want to do that. I bought a 97 Subaru Outback with 134,000 miles on it, and I, you know, I thought it was going to be a good car because it had such low miles, and I've heard Subarus were good, especially older ones, that they would last like to the 200,000s, and like the 200,000 mileage marker and things like that, but as it turns out, it, it, it was nothing but problems. And one of the first things that was wrong with it, uh, it had an oil leak. And I mean, it was bad. It was leaking like everywhere, constantly. And I found out about it after I got the oil. It, it, it seemed to be fine at first, but after I got the oil changed, wait one. After I got the oil changed for the first time, uh, the oil was just leaking everywhere, like, so bad, like, you couldn't even, like, keep it, like, like, with, without, like, I mean, I, I where I was parking it, I was parking it in, like, a, the street area, like, on the side of the street or whatever, and the whole, like, side of the street was just flooded with oil, so I ended up having to get it fixed, and it was a thousand dollars to fix that stupid oil leak. And on top of that, I mean, I, I needed to replace the alternator, I replaced the battery, I replaced all four tires, I, uh, and so, I, I, I mean, I had it for a couple of years, I guess, which is, you know, not bad, but, I mean, I didn't even put, like, a couple thousand miles on it. I mean, I drove it from where I used to live in Idaho to, uh, where I live now in Washington, but, like, so that was like a thousand miles that I put on it. But besides that, like, I mean, I didn't hardly drive it anywhere. And so I, I, I had it up here in Washington where I live uh, up until like a month ago. And what happened was it like, it started overheating. Like, I mean, it did like, it just all of a sudden it overheated and died. And so I towed it to the mechanic and the mechanic was like, oh, well, it's, it's, uh, what's it called? Oh, it's the radiator. So I replaced the radiator, paid the mechanic to replace the radiator and the radiator hoses, and it was still overheating. And they're like, oh, it's the head gasket. And they were like, okay, we'll charge you $1,000 for the head gasket. I'm like, okay, fine. And then they're like, uh, well, the person who had this car before basically, like, jerry-rigged it. Jerry-rigged it? Is that the word? To, like... Uh, he like, I don't even know, basically like, he, he did something to the engine and where they worked on the head gasket before, and like the housing where the head gasket was, like, it was all like, I don't know, weird or something, and they're like, oh yeah, it's gonna take a lot to fix this and blah blah blah, so, they're like, they're like, oh we want, we need $1,800 instead of a thousand to fix it. And I was like, I paid 2,200 for the car total, plus all the money that I put into it to begin with. And, uh, so yeah, I was like, no, I can't do that. So what ended up happening is I ended up selling the car to the mechanic for 500 bucks because I mean, and that just, I mean, that, that didn't even cover like, the tires basically that I put on it. That basically covered the tires that I put on it and nothing else. So this mechanic got a great deal on this car because he can like part it out and sell, you know, whatever or fix it for super cheap because he's a mechanic and that'll be fine. So anyway, I ended up buying a new car. This is for before we get to Pittsburgh. I ended up buying a new car and I take it to get an oil change today and guess what? They're like, oh, it has an oil leak. And I, and I looked down and where I parked it, and sure enough, it has a freaking oil leak. So now I'm like, I was gonna go get the tires replaced today, but then I was like, I do not wanna put any money into this piece of crap car. And it's got a lot of miles on it, and I mean, it's, it runs and drives fine now, but like, I do not wanna put money into another car just to have it freaking die. And granted, the oil leak in this one is a lot slower than the one that was in the Subaru, like, I mean, it's just barely, like, a couple of drips, you know, every once in a while, but, like, I mean, it's just crazy, 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 
So, yeah, that's where I'm at with my transportation situation. Uh, we are done with that. Subscribe now. What's that mean? $3.99 per week. Try for free. 25% speed boost, two times the gold, no random ads, two times free gumballs. Uh, no thank you. Uh... Let's... No. I was gonna say, let's do it at two times the speed, but... I don't really... I don't really want to waste my diamonds, because... Oh, I can click that one, too? How do I get new train cars? Uh... Is it this button? Found it. They're all found in the gumball machine. Found in train shop. Complete chapter 7. Where's the train shop at? This is how many cars you currently have equipped. Two of three. This is your current weight. Try not to go above the max or your speed will be reduced. This indicates how many passengers you currently have. I have eight of 13. This is how much cargo you currently have, 13 of 13. This is how many car upgrades you have available. Well, let's just depart. All aboard! Going from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to Toledo, Ohio. We have 340 kilometers to go. We're traveling. Hello, passengers, and welcome to United Train Lines flight number, or train ride number. 42764. We're currently traveling at a speed of 66 kilometers per hour with 340 something kilometers to go. Uh, please keep your passenger seats in the upright and locked position and enjoy your flight. And thank you for choosing Southwest Train Lines. No. Um, so, yeah. So I'm super stressed about my car situation because, like I said, I mean, I, I just said this a million times, but like, I don't know. It, it sucks. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't have a... Oh, wait, what's going on here? What just happened? 250 gold. Okay, reward. 5,000 gold. 50... Diamonds, USA South Factory. Unlocking train shop. Hmm. Okay, we can okay, here we go. Increase our max speed, increase our max cargo, increase our max weight. Increase our max passengers. Increase whatever that was. And increase max balls. Alright, so maybe we can use those diamonds. I mean, we might as well use the diamonds for something. But I mean, those... 
It's only two and a half minutes before you can... Oh, it's only a two and a half minute finish now. Before, okay. Anyway. So yeah, I have no money, which basically has been the story of my entire life. And not to like be a Debbie Downer, but it just sucks not having any money. I mean, on on one hand, I have a pretty okay life as far as doing the things that I want to do with my life. Like, I mean, and you know, as as I get more comfortable with doing YouTube and things like that, maybe I'll open up more about my mental health struggles. Ooh, wait. A big rock. Honey in demand. Strawberries demand. There's no current demand for any of these things. Oh, these are our passengers. Comfort 13 requires 52 happiness. Uh, Jeff says this train could use a makeover. Serena says nice beds, tons of room, and so comfy. Chris says the sleep is what I needed after working all night. Hallie says boring, nothing to do, where's the entertainment? Susie said the food was okay, nothing exciting. Justin says, I was so comfortable, I didn't want to leave. Mike says, boring, nothing to do, where's the entertainment? And Lala, Lolly, Layla, Lee, Lala, Lale says this train can use a makeover. Make a stop at Baltimore, Maryland. Buy mashed potatoes cargo from Harvest Island. Make the train go faster than 261 kilometers per hour. Alright. Let's... Do all those things. We are almost to Toledo, and we're going to end the video off, I guess, in Toledo, Ohio. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I tried to put in some effort into this video to actually talk and like have some things to talk about, so it wouldn't be like super boring. I mean, I know the gameplay is basically your typical just like tap and you know, whatever. Like, I mean, it's nothing too exciting to watch, but I hope my commentary and my story about my car uh, was helpful. Helpful? I hope it was somewhat, you know, I just hope, I mean, when I watch YouTube videos, I, I, I'm just doing it to try and pass the time. So I hope if you watch this video to the end, thank you so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or don't. I don't give a shit and I'll see you all in the next one. And, uh... Bye, everyone.